All right, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna show y'all like 10 minutes tops how you can clean your exhaust tips up. Yours will look better than mine because mine are really bad off right now. But if you're watching this video, there's a good chance yours are too. You really need 1500 grit sandpaper. I think I have, uh, I don't even know actually. Cause I had some 1500 and I don't have any. So I'm basically doing this cause anything's better than what I have now. I'm probably going to get new tips for long, so it's not worth it me running to the hardware store to get some 1500 grit because it looks good from afar, but your chrome will be scratched up. And I found this uh, a couple days ago. I was washing the truck, and then uh, I've already done one side. I want to see how it go because, like I said, anything's better what I have than what I have now. I'm actually looking at it right now show y'all i'm in here because it is super windy today but here's a beautiful day a beautiful day hoping for a great video so here you can see mine that's what i was talking about how it's so windy so i can shield the actual mic part but y'all can see i went from that to this which is scratched up but, I mean, from right here, you can't tell. And like I said, all you need is to go to it less abrasive. But, I'm making new tips. So, I'm just going to show you all what to do. So, like I said, the only thing you're really going to need is a water source, uh, two microfiber towels, and your small piece of sandpaper I said make sure you go with 1500 mine is way too abrasive but I want to show y'all on the video I mean you can basically see this is probably what yours look like up close mine are scratch but I mean I was saying before I think anything's better than that so I'm gonna go ahead and throw y'all on the tripod and we're gonna get into it Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do, I'm probably not actually in frame, but I'm using a water bottle just because my water hose is hooked up to the pressure washer right now. It's a big hassle for me to unhook it or to spray it with the pressure washer because I just wax my whole truck and I don't want water getting anywhere that I don't want it. So I'm using a signing water bottle. What you want to do, just go ahead and wet it down a little bit. clean the actual tip my hand out of the way clean all the dirt off of it you can just see how bad my rust is which is why I am ultimately getting new tips which is why I don't want to go spend not even like five dollars on some different sandpaper just basically showing y'all the trick like I said all you gotta do is get less abrasive and I've seen this turn out great so now that you ever wipe down take your piece of sandpaper and you're just gonna basically start sanding it uh, in your application I would go in circular motions because if it does scratch which 1500 will not scratch this chrome these are already scratched up not as bad as probably will be after this but you want to go in circular motions that way 
It does scratch. It's harder to notice in chrome, unlike paint. So just take a piece of sandpaper, make sure. You want to make sure to wet it down, unlike what I just did. Make sure you get both sides. Um, kind of in a dead zone of the wind behind my truck right now. Who knows if I'll have to redo this whole thing. But if I don't, you want to get your backside. Like I said, you want to get your whole exhaust. And then after you have scrubbed for a little bit, you want to go ahead, take your microfiber, take the dry side. Just wipe it down to see where you're at. Work down. As you can see, we're already farther along. So, we'll just keep doing this until you get to where it's at your desired rust level, which is hopefully rust free. Alright, now that we have wiped this down and everything, I gotta make sure the camera's still rolling. And we are still good. Sorry, that squirrel moment there. But you can see mine is very scratched up, unlike yours will be. Keep one emphasize on that, as this will work as long as you have the right grit sandpaper. So then this is where our second mi microfiber. Apparently that's a big word for me today. Microfiber towel comes into play. We're just gonna get us some chrome polish. This is actually rust remover, also. Turtle wax, just your Walmart. Put a little on your towel here on the correct side. You wanna have one side that's dry so you can buff this off. You just wanna spread that on there. It's like your wax and the paint. Or if you have waxed chrome, they're polished. Polish and waxing. It's the same process. I'm gonna try to put a bit more on this side than I did the last side. Man, make sure we're folded good. We're on a clean side. Just take it. Buff it off real good.
And then you can see now that we are a lot better than we started. Now we can back up from the truck. We can see besides the tripod, they're in a lot better shape. From right here, with the camera, nor the human eye, you can really see if they're super scratched up. So, I mean, I don't want to say I'm doing this to fool people, but it looks a lot better than oxidized or anything. You can see what you got to do is just go back, hit the spots you missed. So, just right there. Didn't get on that underside real good. As you can see, your finished product over here. So, that guys, this has been another video. Hope y'all start looking to the four, looking forward to the one next week. Words your heart. Look forward to the one next week. Uh, we will have the hybrid back over here. My buddy's truck. Get out of this wind. We will have my buddy's truck back over here after it's got the fuel Mavericks and tent and it was the badge. Not all the way, not completely, just the hybrid badges were off. And I'm actually selling the bed cover that came stock with it. So if you want a bed cover, hit me up. But with that, guys, hope y'all enjoyed this one. Leave in the comments what you want to see next. And the dogs take a microfiber towel.